Olá, boa noite. Começamos agora mais uma edição do programa Grandes Entrevistas. Temos aqui nos nossos estúdios António Azevedo e Annie Zwang, advogados da firma Azevedo Nelson Personal Injury Lawyers. Good evening. I would like to start by thanking you so much for being here today. And uh, Ant Antonio, uh, what made you invest so much in law, uh, family law, and bringing Annie on board? Well, it's a pleasure to, to be here. Um, well, we thought at Azevedo Nelson that having a family law lawyer uh, would be a very good fit. Um, the Portuguese community is a large community, and as, as far as I can see, it's still underserviced. But the, what I've learned from the past, because I've been doing this a few years, is that it's very important to have the right candidate. And uh, so it took a few months, but um, I met uh, Annie, and she uh, has a good background and good schooling, and uh, she's a young lawyer, um, but I think it's going to work out pretty well. And Annie, what made you get into family law to start? Well, for me, it's a relatable area where regular people are your clients. Similar to car accidents and slip and falls, anyone can experience a relationship breakdown. Uh, it's already a very emotional time, so when you throw in the legal aspect of it, a lot of people need assistance to move on to the next chapter of their lives. Uh, Antonio, do you find that like family law is where emotions most come into to play? Well, the family disputes are high-stress situations uh, without a doubt. I also find, though, that the personal injury area, it's the same thing, it's high stress. People are very worried about their future if they can't work. Uh, it's different type of, of uh, stress, but certainly these are very stressful situations and people look to lawyers to help them uh, through the, the process. And Annie, is it hard to control the client's emotions? Sometimes, but I always try to let my clients share what's on their mind or what they're feeling. I mean, at the end of the day, being a good family lawyer is as much about being a good counselor for your clients as it is about letting them know what their rights and obligations are. You have to be able to balance both. And do you find that clients have a lot of information when it comes to this or they just go to you guys with absolutely zero knowledge on how to proceed? A lot of them have at least a basic understanding of the broad areas that need to be taken care of. If they have kids, they know they have to sort out parenting agreements. If they have a lot of properties, they know that they have to somehow divide them. They may not necessarily know how to do it, and that's when you go to a legal professional to assist you with that. And uh, Antonio, what situations are the hardest to deal with in regards to family law? Oh, well, she's the expert uh, in family law. Although I did practice family law my first year as a, as a lawyer. But um, it, it just, there's so many issues that arise in family law that can uh, trigger very highly, high emotional states and uh, stressful situations. Um, you know, kids tend to become pawns in the dispute. Uh, and at the point where there's a, a breakdown, uh, some some people just are do not cope well with the the breakdown. So, what was the hardest case you have ever had to deal with, without giving any details, because we know you can't. But <laughs> overall, um, it's certainly when children are involved, it becomes a lot more complex. I definitely encourage clients to never involve their children directly in disputes. I also let them know that when it comes to uh, child custody and access cases, the courts and lawyers will always advocate for the best interest of the children. And there's a lot of people who may not know what the difference between what custody and access even means or what child support implies or what the Im legal implications for best interests of the children. And that's my job to let them know of that. And um, what are the areas of family law that the services of, of a lawyer are most needed? Well, I think, Annie, you should answer that one. <laughs> of course, Amy, that separate, your simple separation and divorce is what comes to the top of your head. Um, it can be also involve more complex issues dealing with children or if, there, if you have a lot of assets and you don't know how to divide them, that's where you should seek the services or, of a family lawyer. 
And do you find that uh, prenups are getting more common or the other way around? Oh, definitely. In prenups are becoming increasingly more common. It used to be sort of this taboo area where, you know, I mean, a prenup is essentially an agreement a couple makes before they marry. And a lot of people don't want to jinx their marriage, so they're hesitant to get into a prenup arrangement. But more and more people who have already been divorced before, they know how difficult and painful it can be. And it can really save you a lot of headache and heartache in the future to get a prenup arrangement done when everything is good. Um, can you say that divorce here in Canada is something simple to deal with in terms of effectiveness? Is, it, uh, there, is there a lot of bureaucracy associated with it or is it somewhat simple? A divorce can be simple. If you put aside the emotions, legally in, in Ontario, there's such a thing as a simple divorce. Even if you can't agree on other family issues, there's also such a thing as a joint divorce where couples agree on um, every aspect of uh, family law, dealing with property, children, and all of that, and then they file for divorce together. And do they need a lawyer for, for that specific, specific case or can they just do it themselves? They don't necessarily need to have a lawyer, but it's certainly good to have a lawyer look over your application to make sure all, all the I's are dotted and all the T's are crossed. And uh, what are the top tips for anyone who decides to end the marriage? <laughs> well, seek consultation early so you know about your rights and obligations. And certainly, if you have children, don't involve them in the dispute. Know to put your emotions aside at some point. They, you know, have, there's emotions are high, and if you can't think clearly, get the assistance of a legal professional. If you can't talk to your ex, get a lawyer who can talk to your ex or get a lawyer who can talk to your ex's lawyer. Um, and the question of child custody, it's always up there, right? Uh, how to handle the situation without the, the children being in the middle of the whole dispute, right? without, in a way to put the children to the side so that they don't live through that dispute that we can call it ugly, divorce, right? Well, I mean, it's always understandable when couples break up and they sort of harbor negative feelings towards one another, but it's definitely very important to that you don't transfer that onto your children. The courts won't look kindly on it, and it's very hard to resolve matters if you directly involve your children. So I can't emphasize enough that the best interest of the children is not just a practical consideration, but it's a guiding principle in family law when it comes to child custody and access issues. And uh, why is it so important to get a lawyer in family law? To Antonio, no, you've been quite correct. Well, it, it's, it's not just a, a family law. It's, you know, that old saying, a person who acts for themselves has a fool for a lawyer or whatever it is. It, it, it's very, um, one of the jobs of the, of the lawyer is to um, think about the person's problem in a dispassionate way because often emotional decisions are not good decisions. I mean, sometimes they can be, but it's almost like the roll of, of the dice. So it's very good to have a, a third person, like it's not emotionally involved, to think about your situation and think about your problems. And lawyers can't make decisions for clients, but they can give advice to, to their clients. And, and clients who are like emotionally involved sometimes cannot see the big picture. And sometimes it's difficult for clients to accept the lawyer's advice because they cannot see the, the big picture. Right? But like, like sometimes I tell young lawyers, lawyers are not just waiters at a restaurant to do a, whatever a client asks them to do. We're the professionals. The clients come to us to, to seek advice. And we have an obligation um, to help them, to guide them. I mean, we can't make decisions for them, but, um, but that's what we should be doing with all clients, not just family law uh, clients, absolutely. We're just going to go for a little commercial break. Ok. Uh, vamos agora a um curto intervalo. Voltamos já à conversa com o António e Annie Zwang. Não saia daí. <música> 